Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. I think about the last time I did something for the community. They practiced and shooting me. I guess I did something wrong. Something that can't be settled over a game of pong. But these niggas came bearing arms. I'm still writing songs. Never want to leave my home. Stay in the sheets. Sucking tits until it's sunny morning. Excuse me, grand rising, stack piling. She got her own money. We just high fiving sexual organs. Cause that's what gods and goddesses do. Let me know if that's an issue. I'm a firm believer in residual income. I don't know if women still use. Lancome, but my product's way fucking better. Shoot stack hey, cheddar. Hey, uh. I know you're waiting for another episode. Uh, another episode. I know you've been waiting for another episode. I know you've been waiting. Yeah, let it fucking go. Jabronis everywhere I see I'm feeling like it's rock bottom where I fucking go Nigga, I study Stone Cold 316 I keep a fish crushed can of brew from the fucking stove Yo Okay, I can hear myself, so I think I'll be alright Hello? No, I'm just playing <laughs> I need to fix this, though Move this around a little bit Yo, what's good? Welcome back to another episode of Lord Perfected Work. I'm Lord Shoe X, and I'm a potty map based out of Georgia. And if you haven't been to my website, shoelovesrebels.com, you should check it out. It's a great website. Got a lot of cool shit on there. About to have even more cooler shit on there here in the upcoming weeks, months, days, however many fucking human times that we, you you know, you know y'all know I ain't with the shits. If you're watching this outside of Twitch, please make a Twitch account subscribe to my channel if you got amazon prime you can subscribe for free but if you subscribe at tier three on my channel i will give you all my latest projects for free okay stop just thought i'll put that out there all right let me get off of tiktok man okay so if y'all don't know i have a tiktok i've had it for about a good we'll just say a month it's probably been maybe two weeks but we'll just say a month i've had this bitch for a minute now I feel so ashamed, <laughs> but at the same time, I'm really not. So what's good, guys? Oh my God, I'm back here again. Lord of Perfected Work. Oh my gosh, so exciting. Can't wait to talk about whatever the fuck comes into my head today. The name of this stream is called Vajayshal 2324. I know y'all like, what the fuck? does that mean a vajayshal is this mask that you put on your vagina and then it dries up and you peel it off and it leaves a print of the vagina <laughs> uh i guess it's cool i've i myself have never used a vajayshal before because i don't have a vagina <laughs> but uh studies show that if you use it, it makes your vagina tight and brings it all together and it makes it look nice and healthy, I guess. I don't know. I can't tell. But apparently, we've done 2,324 of them. That's a lot of goddamn vajayshals, man. You know, like a facial. See, when I think of facials, I think of, oh, shit, I'm about to come. And then she'd be like, where? That's, that's the first thing that comes to my mind when I think of a facial. So if we're talking about a vajayshal, I basically don't even have to move. I can just, just right there. But if you're a real nigga, you'll just come all in a pussy and just not give a fuck. 
I mean, I wouldn't recommend not taking care of your children or having raw sex because I don't know. You might not want children. People be talking about herpes and shit, but I mean, if you have herpes, you probably, you should just probably not fuck. I mean, you should probably go on a Dr. Sebi diet if you have herpes. Hey, what's up, 1111? Welcome to the chat. What it do, baby? Yeah, if you if you got herpes, though, don't. Just stay away from vaginas and, and assholes, too, because guys don't deserve that. You know what I'm saying? Guys don't deserve to have bumps in their asshole because you got that shit. You got that package. Y'all remember uh, Trapped in the Closet? I know everybody canceled R. Kelly or whatever, but y'all remember the... You can't tell me you didn't watch the whole Trapped in the Closet, bro. You can't tell me you didn't watch the whole shit. Y'all, y'all, so you wasn't surprised when you seen the midget. Get the fuck out of here. You, I was, what? They ain't leave nobody out. You got the weird nigga, you got the pastor, you got the freaky hoe, you got the midget, you got the gay nigga with the, they got every goddamn body. The husband, the wife, the kids, everybody in this shit, man. Talking about motherfucking know how to write a goddamn song, boy. R. Kelly keep your ass entertained. Even though he be fucking little kids. That's fucked up. If you fuck little kids, man, don't watch my chat. I don't want that energy in here. I don't want that energy. I don't want little kid energy on my chat. I mean, if you a little kid watching my chat, man, maybe that'll teach you to stay the fuck away from people like R. Kelly. So... If you're watching this, you are li currently listening to Neath 1111. It's my latest project dropped on United Masters this year. You know, put together by yours truly, produced by yours truly. Um, so I guess I might as well talk about the latest with the project. <clears throat> right now, I got a few ideas that I've been working on. You know, little, little ideas here and there. Um... I don't know if y'all watched the commercial, but I, I, got, I had an idea there, too. Y'all will probably never hear that song in its entirety, because, to be honest with you, that song don't even exist no more. I will have to make the entire everything over again, so. I know it's sad. I don't even remember the verse. Jabronis everywhere I see. I'm feeling like it's rock bottom everywhere I go. Nigga. I study Stone Cold 316. I keep a fish crush can and brew from the fucking stove. You can't see me cause I'm a fucking ghost. I skydive from the fucking rope. This endless pit in the fucking flow. It got me falling for eternity. And it did not stop until I changed my energy. Now you feeling me. You feeling free as vegans never eating me. I packed a bowl with extra keef. I don't even see after that. I don't remember, bro. <laughs> Like fools, this is my world. Intercontinental title coming up. I wrestle my girl. The Matt catch the fade though. Brothers on the payroll. They move when I say so. Something like that. That's like the gist of it. There was like some bars I probably forgot, skipped over and shit like that. But that's that's it for the most part. I think I think that's it for the most part. That song is so old. I recorded that song in 2017, 16. It had to be like 16 because it was in the fall time. It was during the time that I had my slaves. And I talk about my slaves and uh, Shoe Pro. So when the album comes up out, you'll hear about my slaves and all that good stuff. Quite a tell, quite a tell. A well of a tell, I'll tell you, boy, it's a well of a tell. I'm sorry, I watched too much Finding Nemo. But yeah, those interesting times. So y'all here, y'all know who I am. I'm Lord Shoe X. Uh, I'm a polymath face out of Georgia. Y'all know what it is. I, I've had an interesting life to say the least. <laughs> um, today we're gonna talk about vaginas. I know it's it's so random, but I love vaginas and I want to share my love for vaginas with you all today. If you're a woman, I'm so proud of you because you have a vagina. You didn't even have to do shit except exist. I'm proud of your vagina. Um, continue to make more people 
if you're an NPC vagina, continue to make more NPCs. If you're a human vagina, continue to make more humans. If you're a primordial vagina, continue to make more primordial babies. Um, the world, the world is, uh, honestly, there, there's nothing that any of us can do as far as the position that we're in, unless you just so happen to be, uh, a magician or a magi or a magus or a witch or empress or high priestess. If you're one of those then you probably can do some things here and there that could help in the process of what's going on. But in all honesty, I like to look at life like whatever I do is the outcome. So same thing goes with you, but you have to see that from your perspective. So um, a vagational would probably be good for your vagina because considering that y'all are like uh, the receiving end, like, you know, uh, football, the receiver, you got the... You got the um, the guy who throws the ball, and you got the receiver. Y'all are the receivers, and I'm the guy throwing the ball. <laughs> I'm one of the guys throwing the ball. So when you receive a lot of different energies and you don't remove these energies, they tend to stay in women for a long motherfucking ass time. I don't know the exact time. Matter of fact, hold up. Let's find out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See, it's crazy because the semen stays in the body energizing the vital organs and bodily balance. So if that's what happens when a man keeps his sperm inside of his body, that means when a woman receives this information, it actually heals her organs depending on how uh, spiritually adept the man is so if this if this nigga eats hot cheetos that's what your fucking heart and your fucking everything you're just gonna turn into a hot cheeto and you're gonna be a twerking ass hot cheeto i mean twerking's not bad but being a hot cheeto is bad so if you twerking that well if you're a hot cheeto and you're twerking that means you're turning twerking into a hot cheeto so we don't want that so let's see. Let's see what we got on the topics. Uh, I'm going to read a blog post here. Uh, this blog post is by Yale Wolf. It's a seven minute read, but I'm probably not going to read the whole thing. So after my first relationship ended, I returned to the spiritual practices and research that I had abandoned during my time with my ex. Why? Okay, so I was watching this movie right before this fucking stream. Oh, hold up. Let me... Let me switch out the screen. We're going to go to the shoe live screen so y'all can see what I'm reading. So, you know what I'm saying? We just not left out the loop. So we just not left out the loop, man. God damn. Okay. All right, y'all. Let's get back to it. So I was watching a movie right before I started uh, the stream called Mickey Howard Story. Mickey Howard is a great singer, y'all. If y'all never heard any of her music, she's a beautiful singer. Um... They was trying to basically, like, put her on the level of um, Whitney Houston, which I don't know why they would even do that type of comparison to her because she's her, she got her own style, man. You know what I'm saying? She got her own style. Why y'all trying to compare her to uh, Whitney Houston? But anyways, so she ended up, she just kept going through all these niggas, man, having babies and going through all these niggas, making these niggas crazy because, you know, I guess she had that fire, that fire of vagina. So, all these niggas crazy, and she just had she running away, and she basically in goes from being hot ass singer, winning awards and shit, to fucking smoking crack. I don't even know how that trend that transition just happened so fast. And watching that movie, it seemed like twenty minutes she went from being a fire ass singer to smoking crack. So I don't even I don't know. But why? Why, y'all? I know y'all be in love and y'all want to share the world. 
like a fucking R&B song. Let me share your world with me, baby. I want to be with you. I want to be a part of you, baby. I get that. Niggas be talking, you, and he be hitting that spot, boy, that little... I don't know. I just... I've only felt it. I don't know what it's called, but it's like you be, like, poking the wall or, so, like, a little... It's like a bone or something be poking back at you. I don't know what the fuck it is, but I know when you hit it, these bitches, you say shit to them, and they be fucking... Oh, my God. And y'all y'all not all bitches. I'm, you know... I'm just talking, man. But... You hit that spot, bro, and they fucking be fucked up. And you can say basically anything, and they be like, I believe you. You basically could be the worst nigga on fucking earth, and, they, and they'll believe you. So, it's, it's just terrible, man. Why? Do y'all have an answer to that? Leave, leave an answer in the chat if you're fucking with this chat right now. So, let me continue. I'm going to just start over. After my first relationship ended, I returned to spiritual practices and research that I had abandoned during my time with my ex. Okay, I was 19 and in our short nine month union, I had experienced physical and emotional abuse, cohabitation, damn, a pregnancy, a miscarriage and his infidelity with my best friend. I was stripped to the bone and needed to find my way back to myself. Damn, that's fucked up. While listening to a recorded lecture by a spiritual teacher, I won't name her because I can't find a proper citation for the statement I'm about to paraphrase. Who has now become quite famous for her other noble efforts. I was shocked to hear her say that when a man and woman have sex, the energy of the woman lingers in a man's system for about a month afterwards. But for the moment, being the receiver of his body, she carries his energy within her for up to a year after the encounter. God damn, that's a long time. I was intrigued by this. Something about it rang true for me. Okay, so y'all heard what I just said. I'll read it again. The energy of the woman lingers in a man's system for about a month afterwards. But for the woman being the receiver of his body, she carries his energy within her for up to a year after the encounter. So that, and let's just take into account here that some people are psychically, or hmm, that's probably not the word I'm going to use, mentally, like we, uh, some people receive energy mentally on a different way emotionally on a different way so some people might be a little bit more obsessed and hard to leave that type of situation like that was described in the beginning of this this blog post so basically that shit could be even longer that shit could last 10 years for a dude it, it might be a month to a year it might be a month to a few years and for a woman it could if it's a year for a woman it could be 10 years for the woman Depending on how she how she is emo like how her uh, emotional maturity is and her mental maturity and you know uh, her diet can play into that the way she treats her womb can play into you know it's all kind of factors and this this can go for the man as well and like I said if you a hot Cheeto and you fucking shorty now she a hot Cheeto and depending on how fucking hot of a Cheeto you are man. Shit could just be fucking even worse. So, let's continue reading. I was intrigued by this. Something about it rang true for me. I already believe that we have an energetic body in addition to our physical body, which we all know. We know about the Taurus fields. When you align... So, think about it like this. Your heart emits a Taurus field, and his heart emits a Taurus field. And y'all... Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. I love you. Keep doing it like that. Y'all doing that shit for years, right? Eventually, your Taurus field is so affected by this nigga's Taurus field that it's just like, it almost like morphs. It's like some frog shit. Y'all start to like melt into each other on an energetic level. So now you got to reclean. And some people don't know how to properly cleanse their auras, properly cleanse their they energetic bodies. And then boom, you just stuck with this nigga energy on you for years and years and years and years. You got to cleanse the body, the energy body, the rainbow, the light body. You got to cleanse them all, man. So, I already believe that we have an energetic body in addition to our physical body. And through my experience with sex with another person, that is, was incredibly limited at that time. I have felt the strong, intense pull of something other than my flesh and bones reaching for him when we were together. I could feel something within me, something beyond my feeling body that was wanting him, needing him, joining with him. 
after sex, what people described as afterglow felt like more than the hormonal high or the slow thrum of waning orgasmic contractions. I could still feel something of him, like he was still inside me, an energetic imprint. But because of the trauma I was processing in the aftermath of the relationship, the last thing I wanted to hear was, hear was that he was going to be in my energetic field for a whole year. I tried to put it out of, out of my mind at the time and just move on. Years later, I remember that statement. I was sitting across a room from a man who had completely captured my attention. So far, that is three whole niggas she talked about in this shit. Is it just me or do men just... Okay, men don't connect emotionally deeply to women like this, I guess. Unless it's like... Like we... I ain't even gonna cap. Most men have a rotation of women. Like we keep like five to six different females around to just... I don't know, fill that in. So I guess... With women, they try to find that they have. A, I'm pretty sure women have a rotation too, but they have a nigga for everything. And I just feel like dudes just have it for like just fucking. So I I get that on a level, but at the same time, I guess not all men are built equally because I don't. I have no desire to have a gang of women like that. Like I want, I want it at one point. Like a bunch of women around me, but on on some friendship type shit. But I realized many times in my life that men can't be friends with women. It's either you fucking be a partner with them or you just leave them alone and just solely fuck them. And at that point, I don't really care to have a relationship. If it's like if it's on so shallow that all you want to do is fuck, I don't even want to fuck with you like that. It's maybe two times in my life where I just fuck the chick the first, like after knowing her like not even that long and i always after the fact be like damn i want to kind of get to know her more but then the bitch be like oh you know it was a fling whatever and i'll be like damn bitch you really trash like for real <laughs> like I, i'm the one that's going to like seek her on a more deeper level like damn you know we kind of share this moment i feel like you know we could see more into that nope she was just like, oh, it was just a fling. I hope you understand. And that's when I'm like, damn, I'm too deep for this world because I don't, I don't even want no shit like that. I'd rather be on some deeper shit. But at one point in my life, I did, I did want to have a, um, like a polygamous type of lifestyle. And honestly, I, I'm still cool with that idea. But that's the thing, like my partner don't want a polygamous lifestyle, and and I'm cool with that too because to me, it's not about. I don't know. To me, it's it, I'm not really even like on no physical shit like that. So, like even now, I don't I don't have to have sex. Honestly, I don't even need sex because I put that energy into shit that produces other shit for me. So it's for me having sex is like it's kind of overrated because I didn't have fire ass sex. I didn't been I didn't I didn't did been there done that. So, but not saying that. Because I have a partner, I don't want to fuck the doggy shit out of her. Cause I do. I'm I'm super horny motherfucker. So I understand what like just being caught up in the moment. Like that shit can't happen. But I have to be like, first off, my intuitive body is accessed through alcohol. So whenever I get fucking super trash, I I can't do psychic shit. Which is why I used to love get drinking, but that's why most people love drinking who are intuitive, because it like increases that superpower that we can't access when we're sober, because doing the work, when you're doing the work, it's harder to access that energy, which now you know I, I work with myself to access that energy, my intuitive body, but when it comes to just turning it on by just taking, like, just getting three drinks in your system. Remember, you're dealing with a spirit. So, yeah, your intuitive center gets turned on, but you're not yourself. So that spirit controls that intuitive center for you. Now, granted, you, uh, after a while of doing that, you start to become that spirit. Which is why people can't drink and start to go to work. Drink. And start to do other shit like driving and just living normal life because you start to align with that spirit. And then even though you are you get that superpower and you align with that spirit, you're still killing yourself slowly but surely. Because 
the energetic centers that are being used are being drained by you and that spirit at the same time. And then when you're constantly drinking all the time, you don't give yourself space to cleanse. You don't, you know, most alcoholics aren't doing like kidney flushes, liver flushes, organ flushes, detoxing. They're just constantly drinking. And most of the time they're not drinking water. So, you know, that process after so long can just fuck you over. But being that, Like, certain people can connect to emotional shit or even their partner on a, a level outside. Like, you can have intimacy without sex. People people will be, like, kind of fighting that feeling because they, they are constantly being told by TV and shit, like, oh, you got to do this, you got to do that. But they don't, they don't know what it's like to not do this. You know what I'm saying? To, like, not have to do this. Like, okay... Well, if I can't just touch you, like, you will have to eat shorty vagina to make her wet instead instead of just, like, her being so into your energy, like, just being so into who you are as a person and how you control your personal, you know, emotions and attitude and opportunity, you know, the whole, everything about you, your personality who you are as a person, your soul, the way that you command that and control that, that shit creates intimacy on its own. So when you do touch her, it's it's like sex. See, that's some romantic shit. But see, a lot of people not built on some romantic shit. Most of them, most of them thinking that leading flowers up to the bed and being in like lingerie like that's romantic like I don't, you don't even you first off your your naked body is not that's not the way for me to like I'm as soon like okay the how I know like I'm really attracted to somebody is I don't even have to see their face like you texting me my dick's on 10 see People be like, damn, I, I wonder what shorty look like. Like, bro, if you, if, if you, if your heart is right, I'm going to feel that shit. But I'm just, I'm not built like everybody else and I get that. So it's, it's a certain particular group of people built like high. So that's cool. You know, I ain't knocking people who are attracted because we all have our thing. You know what I'm saying? We all different people. But it be shit like that that has fucked up relationships for me because when I I found myself as a, as a spiritual person, I didn't I didn't, people used to tell me oh you could you could have a spiritual relationship by having sex but I just feel like that was an excuse for them to do stupid shit, you know what I'm saying? Like I can understand that on a genuine level if you was genuinely like oh I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to smash out. I get that shit on a genuine level, but at the end of the day, everybody built how they built. That's why you got to find somebody who's compatible with you and understands who you are because I'm a loner. And I mean, I'm so much of a loner that I don't even want to fuck with you. If Even if we, like, even if I'm married to you or whatever, which I doubt I'll ever get, like, married through what marriage is in, in this world, but... I probably never do that shit, but just like on the, on the facts that like, I'm super connected to you, but I don't want to be around you. I don't, I don't want to talk to you right now. Like I go through that and that shit has fucked up relationships that I've been in because when your energy is a certain type of way and then you start to like go off into the cave and be like, all right, I gotta, I gotta figure some shit out. Cause this, this is my journey. I fuck with you and I love you, but this is my journey and I got to figure my shit out right now. You know, I'm gonna still handle my responsibilities and shit between you and I, but right now I got to go in the cave because that's where the real shit happens. That's the shit that people aspire from me. Like, man, I, I look up to you. You didn't change my life. You done taught me so much. That's why, because I go in the cave. I can't be around. I'll be 50, 50% of the time somewhere 
by myself and 50% of the time with the people. But I need that 50% to be around the people. So it it can be taxing on somebody that you care about. But rest assured, you have to be aware of yourself and find somebody who can fit within that. Because somebody who is aware of themselves will also understand that somebody else wants to be aware within themselves instead of just well why you never do this and why you never treat me and why you never like yo right now it's right now is me time for a while you're gonna have to you're gonna have to understand it so if if you're going through some shit like that please understand that you know certain people just not gonna understand your life but you can't be mad at them about that you have to help them understand. And if they can't understand it, then y'all shouldn't be together. You know what I'm saying? Help help the person that you care about understand who you are so it, it's easier for them to be able to care about and care for you. You know what I'm saying? That communication can go a long way. So let's get back into this blog post. This blog post. From the receiving end, however, it felt very different than how things have felt with my first boyfriend. I really felt his energy touching me. <laughs> he wasn't hitting that spot, boy. There was something about him that seemed unreachable, untouchable, unknowable. When I could feel his energy, it would hit me in a strong, demanding wave. The afterglow, if you could call it that, he never gave me an orgasm, was something more akin to watching a blood-stained rag in a sink full of cold water. The way the blood, red blood seeps out and trails, eventually leaching into the water and off the rag. Every time our bodies came together, I began to feel that same sense of energy passing into him, enveloping him. I remember driving home and feeling like that, like a stain was seeping off of me. It hurt. I felt awful, used up. I couldn't stop thinking about him being in my energetic body. Damn. That's got to be hard being a woman, man. Especially when you're fucking people. I just I always think about that when I'm fucking a woman. Which is why I don't like fucking women. By the time we ended things, no homo. <laughs> By the time we ended things, by that I mean by the time he left town without telling me, we never had penetrated sex. So I thought maybe I wouldn't have to carry his energy for a full year. But that was semantics. I went down on him twice. I swallowed everything he poured into me. Hey, she a trooper though. All of that life essence. Really, is there a difference energetically speaking? That's why people be like, do you count a body? Do you count head as a body? You fucking right. So, y'all body count that went up 100, 100 people. This is why This is why I be telling people, man. Look. Ask people they motherfucking body count, man. There is nothing wrong with that shit. Okay? You fucking with somebody, you got to know how many people they keep inside their body. And if they even remove that energy from themselves. Because a lot of motherfuckers don't. And do you really want to be with somebody that got 100 motherfucking bodies? That all that life essence of other niggas. If that nigga decide to come back around, what you think gonna happen? And the same thing applies from men to uh, from uh, w- a woman to a man. If he didn't ate a lot of bitches pussy and drink all that come up, if he didn't fuck a lot of bitches, that shit is still inside this motherfucker too, on an emotional, mental, and physical level too. So always understand. Don't be afraid to ask. Matter of fact, what they be saying, go get tested, bro. Go get tested and find out if your partner got some shit too. Especially if these motherfuckers out here fucking willy nilly. Cause people don't got no goddamn morals no more. And they just, I'ma just, that's why I be, that's why I used to pimp bitches. <laughs> used to. Y'all ain't about to get me caught up by the feds. That's why I used to pimp women. Y'all, y'all might have more of a sexual energetic signature than I do because I don't give a fuck about that. My whole life was based on money. So back then, oh yeah, I fuck. Yeah, I know you're going to do that because that's all you want to do. So I'm going I'm to let your talent flourish and let you go out here. <laughs> let your motherfucking talent flourish. Shit, I done pimped niggas before. Ain't no shame in my motherfucking game. That's why I went through my own spiritual journey and I had to learn about myself and figure myself out and to make me my best self. Everybody has their thing. So some people might be like, oh, you judging me because my body's... Nah, because a motherfucker judged me because I used to pimp women. So, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. 
we ain't judging each other. We trying to get an understanding. Communication is is important, especially when you with somebody, man. Y'all got to communicate this shit to each other. Because it makes it not a surprise. If if the motherfuckers come back around that they previously fuck with, come back around be like, oh, they didn't tell you this? They didn't tell you that? Hey, ask all the motherfucking questions. And if they uncomfortable to tell you some shit, you don't need to fuck with them. Straight up. And if you just don't give a fuck anyways, just... You good. That's just another bitch in the rotation as far as I'm concerned. And that can go both ways. You know what I'm saying? Men and women. Because I know y'all chicks out here getting it in too, man. <laughs> y'all out here getting it in too because I ain't even hating. All right. So. I came to realize. Oh, shit. Hold up. Really, is there a difference energetically speaking? Does it really matter into which hole a man enters and releases himself? Damn. I came to realize that was just as much of an imprint as if he had put his penis in my vagina. And sure enough, I couldn't shake him out of my system for at least a year after that. Damn. Hey, y'all. This this is uh, from Medium.com. Which Medium.com, obviously a medium is a spiritual person that receives messages. But I'm going to just continue to read the rest of this blog post. And then we'll go from here. I tried to find the quote from the spiritual teacher mentioned above. I wanted to see if I remembered it correctly. The notion that a man lives within a, mo- a woman's energy for a year after an act of in- intimacy. But I've yet to be able to find it. I've seen passing references to suppose bo- uh, Buddhist beliefs that a lover stays in your aura. Same thing really for seven years. Yeah, man, that's what I was finna say. I, don't, I always heard that it was longer than just a year, but... A year, seven years, shit, more than two days, man, it's too long for me. I'm trying to forget your ass if I'm if I'm just having a one night stand with you. And what's crazy to me is I don't understand how niggas have one night stands, bro. This shit is out of this world to me, bro. Like you just fuck somebody and y'all never see each other again. How, bro? How? How? Y'all is built different, bro. Y'all some goons. I can't do it, bro. I already have to go through a process to even get to know your motherfucking ass before I even stick my dick in you. I don't even like niggas enough to just see somebody out somewhere and be like, damn, I want to fuck the shit out of this bitch and never see her again. Like, bro, if I'm trying to fuck you today, I'm trying to fuck you tomorrow. I'm trying to fuck you next week. I'm trying to fuck you next month. I'm trying to keep fucking you until you just get fed up with my ass. Like, ugh. I don't get it, man. Yikes. (laughs) <laughs> but I've been taking the time to find out whether or not that statement statement came from a sacred text or spiritual teacher. But really, I don't need a spiritual teacher or text to tell me that people energy exchange energy during sex or that a woman with a man is prone to take on more energy than he takes on. But that's because he has to exert more energy. When a man comes, he he basically is killing himself. Now, I don't know how true that is for women because you don't really see a lot of women semen retention videos. Well, women don't have semen. But they do have a form of cum or ejaculate. And you don't see really a whole lot of uh, trends about women not ejaculating. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's weird to me. They, they don't practice retention or they don't practice like celibacy or shit like that. I don't see a lot of trends like that. Unless, you know, I'm a man. So I tend to look up man shit. But you would think that when you search for celibacy that, you know, there would be like both sides. But I always see men talking about it. Which is weird because men seem to be the ones that rape the most in the world. Which I, I like that this trend is coming out because it to me that seems like that could be a good way to bring down uh, a lot of rape and violence towards women. So uh, thumbs up for celibacy. And you know keeping your dick in your pants Anderson. Or that a woman is prone to t- to, or that a woman with a man is prone to take on more energy than he takes on. Being the one with the body that receives and holds another body. What interests me is how long really does a man stay in a body? Does a man stay in my body after sex? I'm not sure the answer to this question is as simple as it might seem. I don't know that you can attach a unit of time to it and call yourself cleansed once that time has passed. Right? You have to take active, an active, like, that's why I'm glad that these yoni steams and people putting crystals in their vaginas, they have like the yoni eggs made out of like uh, rose quartz and, you know, just, just crystals that uh, draw the energy out. Now, I would recommend whoever makes uh, 
Yoni eggs, they need to make a damn Yoni egg out of Shungite. She's, uh, right before I became intimate with my last partner, I went to a psychic who immediately told me I had overwhelmingly a strong sexual energy that wasn't being tended to. I was mortified, and honestly, I think she was a little embarrassed, too. I don't think she expected to say that. She said she was going to look at my aura to see if she could find a clue as to why I was neglecting my sexual needs. Then, um, then immediately stated that she saw a young man in his early 20s with black hair who had physically hurt me and a man closer to 30 with blonde hair who had taken pleasure from me but given me none back. Damn. I almost started laughing and confirmed that those were two of my previous lovers by then. It had been over 10 years since I had any contact with my first boyfriend and seven since I had seen Bacalanian Blonde. I don't know what that word is. Basha Nalanian. Let's find out, y'all. Let's see what the etymology of this word is. Because, you know, I'm a fucking nerd. Alright, so let's see. Bacchanals, Bashanals, Bashanalian, Bashanalian, characterized by intemperate drinking. Pertaining to Bashanals, participant in the Bashanalia. Okay, so let's find out what Bashanals is. What about Bashanal? Riotous, drunken, roistering. Okay, so basically, Bachanalian Blonde is a drunk-ass, crazy motherfucker. So she just ended up with two crazy motherfuckers. One with black hair and one with blonde hair. <laughs> and they and there they were, still sitting in my aura. Then she told me, damn, look, shorty. Okay, so hold up. Let me go back because I just skipped over that. So I almost started laughing and confirmed. Now, she went to go see a psychic. And the psychic told her that the sexual energy that Nita tended to was from her first boyfriend and the second dude that she was fucking with. Now, she said by then it had been over 10 years since I had been in contact with my first boyfriend and seven since I had since I'd seen the Bachanalian blonde. That's 10. That's a decade. And it's still showing up in her aura. The psychic seen that shit in her aura after 10 years. Seven years. Let's continue reading. And there they were, still sitting in my aura. Then she told me she saw a new man, younger than me, also blind. She said I was afraid to try again, but that I should go for it. I don't know if we will make it as a couple, I confess. I am so afraid of falling in love with him and eventually losing him. She lo she leaned forward and said, Honey, I didn't say marry him. I'm telling you what I see, that you need to have sex. Don't worry about the rest. Damn, so y'all fucked the pain away. Okay. Again, I almost laughed. I'd only been to a psychic once before, and we had talked about lofty spiritual aspirations and healing from my past. In my second psychic reading, I was being instructed to just get laid. I did, of course, and I fell in love. And, of course, we did not make it. But throughout our years together, I experienced energetic connections with him that I never experienced before. There were times when our energetic bodies literally reached out for each other, pulling our physical bodies together without assistance or creating a simultaneous orgasm. There were times when he was inside me that I could feel the energy of him radiating through my pelvis, my chest, up into my heart, my arms, my hands, filling up my whole body. There were times when it felt as if my entire torso opened up, like being unzipped from clavicle to pubic bone, and inside was a welcoming space, waiting for him, pulling him in, holding him safely within me. This sounds nice. It sounds better than all that previous shit. <laughs> Afterwards, when I got up to get a glass of water, I could still feel his energy stirring in me, creeping back down the way it had come in. Or I lay there and marinate in the feeling that I was still holding him inside the zipper pouch of my chest and pelvis. Keeping him safe, even though he was by then lying next to me, half an arm's way, half an arm's length away. Five years later, I suspect he is still within me and my first boyfriend, the blonde who I wanted as a boyfriend, and the others who only end up being guest stars. There were times when it felt as if, oh shit, I'm reading that same shit again. Is this a failure on my part, an inability to let go and move on, an indication that my soul is a little slower, maybe just sticky? 
Or is this just the way of it? If you believe in spiritual declaration that we are all one, when we actually become one with another person, perhaps it stitches them into your soul forever. Maybe we are all walking woven tapestries of all the people we have slept with. Maybe they are supposed to be a part of our energetic body. I try not to be afraid of this anymore. I can keep working to purge the energy that hurt me and keep the energy that gave, gave me pleasure and love. How long will the next lover live within me? One year, seven years, forever. Only thing I know now is that it doesn't really matter. What would matter is the connection, our bodies, our souls. If we are knitted together forever in the act, that's a price I'm willing to pay. Damn, you bitches is bold out here. Okay, so this is... <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go back to the main stage real quick. So... We gonna get into how I felt about that post I just motherfucking read to y'all. So, um, I mean, shit. She she had a couple points, but like I had a couple points as well. But we are gonna talk about her points. So, she said that she's willing to take a risk just just to bring back the energetic signatures to her soul that's already there. Now, the way I look at it is if we are all one, that means that shit is already inside of you, living within you, expressing already through you, which is why you ended up with that particular person. Y'all y'all called out to each other before y'all knew each other, which is maybe the one night stand thing. People calling out to each other parts of their souls that's already that already knows each other. Now, that's where you have a choice. <laughs> see, you see all the trauma that was expressed, but then at the end, she tried to wrap it up with this like positive ending. Like, I'm willing to take the risk of going through trauma just so I can experience maybe 20 minutes of some of, of nurturing somebody. Like, there's other ways to like intimacy can be done in other ways. You don't have to risk your whole body for that shit. Because let's say, for example, you let this nigga hit right. And condoms don't stop everything, bro. Which is why I tell y'all, please, don't get tested before you fuck people or just don't fuck anybody at all. If they really fuck with you and they intimate with you and they love you like they say they do, you won't have to go through these type of problems. See, I get it. Taking a risk for love. Oh, so so commendable or whatever. To me, that's just not commendable. That's just being ignorant. You know, that's my personal opinion. But... If you're gonna do this shit, you can there is still spiritual tools that you can motherfucking use to get rid of this shit out of your body. The motherfucking vegetal, okay? It's just one thing. A yoni egg, yoni steams. I, I've heard good things and bad things about all of this shit. But at the same time, it can't be no worse than just taking raw dick, raw come to the fucking back of your cervix. Like, come on, bro. None of that shit sounds even halfway smart to me, bro. But I get it. I get it. Because sometimes life is about taking chances. I get that. You know, you meet somebody, you care about them, yada, yada, yada. That's cool. But at the same time, man, you can be smart about how you go into certain shit, man. And this is for men and women. You know what I'm saying? I ain't just talking to the ladies. Dudes, y'all got y'all need to take spiritual baths and remove these energetic signatures from your body as well. You know what I'm saying? Meditate that shit out of you. Really, really dig deep into who you are because trust me, man, when I tell you, I've had to do this shit myself. Remove the negative energy signatures from my body. You know, like she said, uh hold on, what the fuck did she say? I don't wanna fuck the quote up. Damn, I already closed this shit out. Alright, well y'all get the point. She said, uh, there's, there's, she's working on purging the trauma and she's keeping the, the love and, you know, the intimacy that she get, get gained from that shit. But she says, how long will it be before it's completely gone? It's, it's never going to be gone, honestly, y'all. Because like she just said, if we all t stitchings of this tapestry and we come back into alignment with each other on a physical level and then we read, we're, it's like we're adding more of that energy when we're already, and like I told y'all before, the spiritual war taking place. Not everybody is a real person. 
So when you fucking these NPCs, man, just know they're inside of the game, okay? So you fucking the game. You fucking the software, okay? <laughs> so just be weary, man. Like, honestly, it's just smarter to just not even put yourself through that predicament. All because you want to feel five seconds of quivering. Because I don't know. All these women seem... Look, they might find 5% of niggas on this earth that's that's really smashing. And at the same time, bro, a lot of these chicks be getting on social media talking about, man, it ain't even a dick, man. It's the money. Oh, it's the feeling that he gives me. So when he fucks me, I'm feeling that feeling on 10. Like, it's so many factors that go into the shit. And with men, bro, it's, it's really simple. If, if you fucking with a beta male nigga, basically he's gonna fucking give his soul away to you anyways off of the simple fact that you giving him pussy, showing him attention. Because he an attention seeker. Beta males, they seek attention, man. Straight up. They want to be loved. They want to be uh, held on to and shit like that just like a woman. So it, that, that might work for you. But most women don't want a simpy ass nigga like that who just, oh, I need you every five seconds. Stop their motherfucking life to, to cater to your shit Most women don't want that Because a lot of women actually have a lot of strong Stronger personalities So for them to look for somebody else Who has a strong personality They're gonna wanna fuck with somebody who's just like them So no, You know learn yourself y'all You don't have to give yourself away to some simp joker And you don't have to give yourself away To some motherfucker that's beating the shit out of you You know what I'm saying like be smart You know what I'm saying Like how How can you equate Violence to love at all There's no violence in that It don't matter If there's kids involved Get them kids The fuck out of there If if that's That would be the smart thing To do is get the kids The fuck out of there But I'm not a woman I can't speak from The perspective of a woman This is just my personal opinion But You know Just giving my My view on What I just read to y'all And Just a little shit But Today's stream is about Cleansing your aura and your and your chakras and the sacral sacral chakra is an important chakra to cleanse as well. You know what I'm saying? And there's ways that men and women can cleanse their chakras out, all of them. But today we focused on the vajayshal, so obviously we talking about the sacral chakra, off oh, rip. Like, come on, you know, it's no doubt in my mind that women have actually better tools to remove shit from their body, so it shouldn't be an excuse for women who have a lot of bodies to not be trying to cleanse themselves of all those energetic signatures. So this is why today I'm on here speaking on behalf of the beautiful ladies and the goddesses out there and the high priestesses who might not know because you know, some of us, we are, we're, we're woke. We're, we're, we've awoken, <laughs> but we might not have all the information. So, you know, on the behalf of the ladies, I'm going to speak for y'all and let y'all know that there's plenty of ways that y'all can, if, if anything, I would just research and find a way that resonates with you. Because like I said, I've heard good and bad things about all the tools. And also, uh, you can do a meditation on yourself. You know what I'm saying? My recommendation, take shrooms. <laughs> Psilocybin. If you want to move some shit out of your body, take some psilocybin, man. Real shit. That's how I removed the sexual energy from my body that I didn't want there no more from previous exes that I fucked with and women that I just... The the few the one or two times that I actually was like, damn, I, I'm fucking the shit out of her, but I know after this, she probably not going to fuck with me. Because they be like, damn, the dick was fire, but I don't want, I don't want to date. And I'll be like, damn, so you, I just gave my fire a dick. It's cool, man. Whatever. But, you know, that's all I want to talk about today. I'm Lord Shoe X. You just watched another episode of Lord of Perfected Work. If you haven't been to my website, shoelovesrebels.com, check that shit out, man. There's plenty of good fire shit on there for y'all. You know, little things here and there, you know. Uh, 11 Eleven store always got some new shit popping up in it. Just dropped a uh, ratchet coloring book. So magical for the adults. And then also uh, Tefnet Archive, which all the jewelry... Matter of fact, the whole website, 50% off. So y'all go check out Tefnet Archive on shoelovesrebels.com. Also, all, all music, entertainment, content by Lord Shoe X is on this website. So y'all should go check it out. And also, much love to you and yours in the world. 
I just want to uh, give a special shout out to all the people that came in, the new people that's watching the stream. Y'all, y'all know y'all got my heart, man. All the music that you're listening to on the channel is produced by me. All of it, including the trailer, everything. Everything's produced by Lord Shoe X and Shoe Loves Rebels. The new corporation created by Lord Shoe X. Y'all check that shit out. Let me know. Let me know uh, what's good. Also, new project coming on the way. Uh, I'll keep y'all in tune with what's going on and when the, the first single gonna drop. You know what I'm saying? You know I gotta keep y'all in the loop. So, y'all stay tuned. Uh, Till next time. I'm out this bitch. <laughs> I am out this Bronies everywhere I see I'm feeling like it's rock bottom Where I fucking go Nigga, I study Stone Cold 316 I keep a fish crushed Can of brew from the fucking stove